We got uh, we got a new book here by Tom Hanks. It's called Uncommon Type. That's true. Some stories. I did not know you wrote short stories. Uh, I did there. Uh, yes. You know, um, you know, seventeen short stories. Yeah, the, I, I, I had a, I had a story published in 2014, and they called up and they said, "Do you got any more in you?" And I said, "Well, how many?" And they said, "Meh, fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. Well, how long do they got to be? Eh, whoever long they are." And then my question was, "Is there, is there any money to be made in short stories?" And they said, "Yeah, quite a bit." And it's it's been on the I must say it's been on the bestseller list for a while, which is very nice. Very good notice. Thank you, thank you. Very good notice. And um, I have made uh, enough money to buy a new set of snow tires. Not bad. So it's a Not it's bad. a it's a day job that I'm lucky. To have. No, it was really it was wonderful and fun to make. The dedication is for Rita and all the kids yeah. because of Nora. Yes. Why why is Nora? On Sleepless, in, I'll tell you why. Because on Sleepless in Seattle, I met Nora, and I was uh, I was uh, I was clocking a lot of them over the uh, over the left field fence there. I was doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. In the old career wise thing. Sure, sure. And I, I was you told. Had a necklace made I, off. I did. I I was told over and again that I was a big shot and that people should fear me even though they didn't. So. Um, uh, Nora had directed one movie that I actually liked, and we were me- we met, you know, and I met Nora, as I, and she she had written the screenplay with uh, her sister Delia, and I said uh, things like, uh, "It's cute, it's a cute screenplay. I like it. I like it. Uh, I can see what I can see what you're doing with this. Yeah, I can see what you're going for, uh, but there's some problems with it." Uh, and she said, what are the problems with it? Well, uh, I'll share them with you if I decided. We started working on it, and she was a magnificent collaborator. And there was, one, there, was one, there was one day where we were talking about a thing from the script. And I said, Delia and Nora, you don't know squat about being a man. <laughs> what I meant was being a father. You, they had written this scene where the father was going to go off for a weekend with a, a lady that he met, and the son didn't want him to go because he wanted her him to stay and talk to the lady on the radio. Yeah, we've all seen them. And 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 they. <laughs> anyway, so so it's they, on right now on so, TBS. So they <laughs> might be on the grid. So uh, I said, look, no, no, guys, 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 no man does that. No father does that. No, no way would they do it. Well, what would a father do? I'll tell you what the father would do. He says, you don't want me to go away on the weekend? You don't want me to go away with Carla? I'm going out with Carla. You know why? Because I'm going to get laid this weekend, you little squirt. And I haven't been laid. I've only been laid eight times, and I'm going to go out with it. So, and they said, well, let's put that in the movie. And they... And they sort of did. And then after it, when it all came out, and a few other beats like that, and I said to Noah, boy, hey, that stuff really worked. Those scenes were really... And he says, well, you wrote that. And I said, I know. I, I complained during rehearsals. That's not... Uh, that's not, not... So that's... She said, that's what it is. You come up with things, and you didn't type it, but you actually wrote it. So, so that's so, where it began. Yeah, she and I... Ex- we, we, from that moment on, we exchanged uh, everything that we were sort of working on and going back and forth saying, this is a thing. And she... Uh, I sent her a, a piece that I had written on my makeup man that ran in the New York Times. Uh, and uh, I said, is this, is this anything? And she said, yes, it is. But remember, voice, 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 voice. Which means she saw what I was going for. It was kind of there, but it had no voice. And she knew how that a writer needs to establish something more than you got to have a you got to have a a, a a cadence. You got to have a percussion. You've got to have a melody to your voice that I did not have. I was just uh, writing down some things. So she uh, she she told me that I was a writer long before I ever thought there was such a thing would be possible. That's so funny. the book is for her. Oh, great. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Well, can I keep this one? Lovely to see you again. Yeah. The Post opens next Friday. Tom Hanks, everybody. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.